If you're wondering whether the latest in the Indiana Jones installment is worth it, I'm here to give you my honest review. Hey friends, I'm Sammy and I love me some Harrison Ford, especially as Indiana Jones. And I love going to the movies, but let's face it, tickets are skyrocketing. So you want to know whether you should see it in the theaters or wait until later. Let me give you a few maybe highlights, tidbits of my review. Okay, so first of all, it starts out with that classic fight scene that Indy always gets into, but back in the past. So it uses AI to give us a younger Indy. Now, I probably should have done some research on what's past versus what's present because the present, I believe, takes place in like the 70s. That's the vibe it gives off. Um, so we're going into the past for this scene. It introduces us to a new friend who will become important later. Uh, and of course, things aren't always as they seem and it sets up the precursor for his new foe, what he's gonna be going after, all of those things. So that's interesting. It's a little bit like um, Nick Fury in Captain Marvel, like that kind of vibe. So we start out with that. Then let's talk about like all the nods that we love. So of course, we have a lot of old quotes that we love hearing about. Um, a lot of, I guess, nods to those references. So there's gonna be a nod to the snakes, although in this installment it's eels, hold my horse. Like there's a lot of, I know Tangiers, like there's a lot of references, which we love because even if you haven't seen any of the past films, this film is gonna make sense. It's not like you have to, but if you're a lover of the franchise, you're gonna love all those little Easter eggs and those little like, yeah, nods to the past that we appreciate. Okay, so in terms of his sidekicks, so we get to see some of his old friends, um, specifically Sala. We don't obviously see Marcus, unfortunately, he's no longer with us, but um, it's, it's nice to have that like, kind of that warm fuzzy feeling. Now, present day Indy, let's just say, is a little bit like Carl Fredrickson from Up. I'm not gonna lie, <laughs> like he's kind of portrayed as this grumpy, older, you know, who's been working, they kind of show a retirement party um, for him. So he's, it's hard to see him present day in this being put out to pasture, a little bit like his father was, um, as played by Sean Connery in Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade. Now this is supposedly Indy's final adventure. We'll see. Now here's where it gets interesting and where they lost me a little bit. It gets to, <laughs> it gets to the unbelievable and it gets too unbelievable for me. Meaning I don't want to give away any spoilers, but at the end, it really goes to a place where I'm like, okay, you had me, I was tracking with you. I could believe that he was doing these fight scenes. I was with you. And then it just all went to a place. It was just too far for me to go. Now, there's a really great cameo at the end. Again, people may have spoiled it already. I won't spoil that. Um, love interest cameo, let's just go there. But I just, I wish they had stopped the movie like 20 minutes sooner. I wish they had, I felt like there was enough there. I felt, because they didn't even wrap it really firmly when they did wrap it. So that's my, my, my two cents. Uh, is it gonna scratch that itch? Yeah, like you get what you love about Indiana Jones, but there's some elements that just went a little bit too far for me and it was a little, it was hard for me to get on the bandwagon. That's not a bandwagon. This is the Dial of Destiny. So if you want to go see Indiana Jones and the Dial of Destiny, it's in theaters now. Uh, or if you think, you know what, I'm just gonna wait and see it on the small screen. I understand. Cinematography is beautiful. Of course, it takes you to all of the places that you know you love exploring with Indy. Um, but yeah, a little bit of a stretch. Okay, you heard it here first. Let me know what you think if you've seen it, if you plan to see it. And of course, I'll keep coming back to you with my honest reviews as I have them.